Does anyone know what characteristics give microphones their unique sound? You know, who know. Tell us, Mr. Audio. In addition to polar response pattern and capsule type, every make of microphone has eight characteristics that differentiate it from other mics. Transient response is how well the microphone is able to capture rapid changes in the sound. In general, condensers and ribbon mics have better transient response than dynamic mics. Overload limit is how easily the microphone can be overdriven. Here, most dynamic mics are harder to overload than condensers and ribbons. Max SPL is how much energy can reach the mic capsule before it produces 3% total harmonic distortion. Microphone output sensitivity, typically minus 85 dB for dynamic mics up to minus 65 dB for condensers, is how much signal the mic outputs. Self-noise is the amount of noise measured in an anechoic chamber that the microphone produces with no signal present. Signal-to-noise ratio is the usable dynamic range of the mic, basically the difference between the max SPL and the self-noise. Proximity effect is how the low-frequency response increases, typically with a cardioid pattern, when the microphone is close to the sound source. Finally, and most important, is the frequency response. Most manufacturers attempt to make this as flat as possible. This means few peaks and dips between 20 Hz to 20 kHz, or an octave or more higher for some high-def mics, so that the microphone faithfully reproduces the actual sound. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.